Welcome to this free lesson for advanced mandolin players. Over the next 15 minutes or so, we're going to learn a, an amazing Irish reel called Jenny's Chickens. It may also be Scottish, but that's not the point of this lesson. It's just a great tune, and we're going to hopefully have some fun learning it. We're going to learn the chord tune, and then we're going to add some ornamentation to it, and we'll have something eventually that will sound like this. <laughs> Everything we talk about in this video is included in a free PDF, which is linked in the description below. So please do have that in front of you so you don't have to do any of this by ear. So I'm going to assume you're an advanced player. This is sort of for the more advanced mandolin player. The actual tune is not the hardest one. So let's just learn the three sections. It's a three section reel. Each section is quite short. Um, so let's just learn the A part, the B part, the C part, and then we'll talk about the ornamentations. So the A part, uh, but, and by the way, uh, in this A part, some people play with G natural instead of G sharp. It's sort of like an E minor sound. I much prefer the G sharp. It sort of keeps it, is it major, is it minor? Keeps it in that sort of mixolydian, so it's using the notes of an A scale, sorry, Dorian. Keeps it in the notes of an A scale, but we're in B minor. So let's just play the A part round twice. Uh, da, 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 about that speed. One, two, three, four. It's quite similar. So you know, nothing, nothing too bad there. And then our beat part. together again if at any point I'm going too quick you can either just hit pause and try it yourself or hit the cog down here but I want to get the tune under our belt so we can learn the ornamentations nice and quickly so B part and one two three four and again Really satisfying to play, really nice. B minor sometimes fits really well on the mandolin. And then the C part, nice big stretch. You're, you've got uh, index and pinky. Pinky's got to do some work here. You really reach up for that seventh fret. Um, and make sure your pick strokes are right, so down, down. So this is always down on the high note and up on the, the, root, the anchor note. Down, up, down, up, down, up. So let's try this C part. Two, three. Oh. And just so you can hear it in context, let's play it all through a, a decent lick, so maybe sort of eighty BPM. I'll overdub. Uh, the bazooki playing along so you can hear Jenny's chicken with no frills. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now we have that under our belts, we can add some ornamentation. So the A part, I'm only going to add a couple of things, but they're going to make a huge difference. So uh, the first bar, an Irish fiddle player, anytime you're sort of going from a high note to a low note on that, especially on this E string, probably going to add a little trill, a little grace note, not a trill. 
So pick strokes aren't changing your skill, it's still going down, down, up, down, up, down, up. But you're adding in, instead of going straight to the F sharp from the G sharp, you're just hanging on the G sharp an extra fraction of a second and then pulling off to the F sharp. And we don't want to hear triplets, we don't want to hear da 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 And you don't want to pull off too many as well, you don't want to go pull off, pull off and pull off to the O, you want it's, it's got to be as quick as possible. It's almost a sound effect more than a note. And then the same happens in the B part. This is a harder one, we're going to put it in on between, instead of two B's in a row, we're going to sneak in a C-sharp grace note. And again, we don't want, we don't want to hear triplets, we want a sound effect C-sharp. As quick as possible. Now, everyone always wonders which way to go when you're doing pull offs Some people pull down, some people flick up. I think it's dependent on where you are. So for the first one, I'm pulling away from me. For that one, I tend to flick the finger up. I could do down, but I get a better sound from flicking up. Doesn't matter, whichever suits you better. So let's just try that B part, because this is a hard one. So try the B part with the little grace note. One, two, three, four. It's like that, so pick strokes don't change. If you can just lock your right hand to doing in the same thing, then it should be easy to get that grace note in. And then finally, if uh, the first two sections were inspired by fiddle players, this third section is stolen from what a tenor banjo player would do. And they love adding triplets in. So anytime there's a pause in the melody, maybe a, a, a note that's worth a whole beat, because one whole beat is the same as three triplets, they're the same length. So you can replace a whole beat with triplets, as I have done for beat one. So instead of I've gone. And pick strokes, you've got to do an extra down, up, down, down. You've got to do the triplets down, up, down, and then you need to get back on the pick stroke theory straight away. So down, up, down, down. So a little double down, which is the difficulty. So instead of going, I go. I could have done it on the next bar as well. But just to do three in a row was just a bit intense. So I've just done uh, every other one. Such a cool effect, and it's that's the tenor banjo player that um, we, I, I wish my right hand was uh, as good as a tenor banjo player at playing triplets. But you're trying to get those triplets in as quick as you can. I think that's enough of me talking. I've explained all the techniques we've added. We've just added a few ornamentations, it's going to make all the world of difference. We're going to do this again. We're going to play it at 85 BPM first. But we're going to do it twice through, then we're going to stop, and then we're going to ratchet the, the metronome up to 100 BPM. Because this is a tune where the faster you do it, the more it has an effect. And we're going to do it twice round, because it's quite a quick tune. So here we go, 85 BPM first. Overdub the bazooki again. Here we go. And one, two, three, four.
So there's Jenny's Chickens. I mean, it's a strange name, but a great tune. Great name, really, as well. I um, hope you've enjoyed playing it. It's certainly become one of my favourite tunes to play. B minor, Dorian, sort of really Irish, real sound. And uh, with those ornamentations, they make a huge difference for me. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. We do these every month. So if you like what you've seen, please hit like and subscribe or head over to mandomike.com for all the other four years' worth of free lessons that we've done. And we'll see you next month.